Thank you so much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for putting all the likes on yesterday's video. Now, we are at peak dust, the most dust this summer, uh, the most dust potentially this year. We're going to see a little more of a surge move in. I want to show you how that ties into the upcoming hurricane season and the busier pattern ahead. Now, this is a map I don't often show. It's, it's a satellite uh, image here, but it's kind of a, a finer resolution uh, satellite, if you will. Here we are across the uh, Caribbean. Here's Trinidad to get over toward uh, Barbados. Here's uh, Jamaica. Now, in this, it's a little hard to see. I'll show you different map in a second, but right in here, there is some dust. There's kind of a little tan shading. This is a different uh, kind of image, different imagery. Here we are again in the Caribbean, and this really tracks the dry air, but in this pocket of dry air right here, that's where we're seeing the dust. We're going to get another surge of dust. The dust is associated, of course, with the dry air, and that does help inhibit or uh, kind of uh, stop or lessen the chance of tropical storms and hurricanes of uh, from developing, and that part is a good thing and we have that in place but we're going to see a dust surge moving in it will be the biggest we've seen this summer so let me track that and then get into the tie-in for the rest of the hurricane season and that active period ahead so here we are in the uh, Caribbean and you see the dust in place right here this is today so that tan shading that's some of the dust now this is tomorrow so as we work our way into Saturday and you can see the dust expanding a little bit here making its way through the Bahamas back to Toward Jamaica and across the Eastern Caribbean. So peak dust right now. There'll still be a little bit of dust at times as we go through the rest of the hurricane season, but we're going to see the biggest surge. We're kind of at the maximum at this point. This here is by Sunday. So by Sunday, you can see the dust here really building up. Uh, so again, going from uh, today, tomorrow into Sunday, there's that dust thicker in the Eastern Caribbean, really thick dust. And then by the time we get into Monday, you can see it spreading across and then even moving its way back into the Gulf of Mexico. So widespread areas of dust as this surge moves in and with it not expecting any tropical development the next few days. But you see that dust right there. And then as we work our way into next week uh, further, you can see even some of that dust reaching parts of uh, Central America. So that's the large surge of dust. You see some even over toward Bermuda kind of swinging, getting tied into some of the front. So at a maximum right now, for the dust, then gradually it's going to lessen as we get through the rest of the hurricane season. So what's the tie-in on that? Well, in the short term, uh, with the dust and dry air around, we're not going to see development. We have a couple tropical waves moving in. With these, we have one tropical wave here, but it's fighting through the dust. We'll see some areas of showers and storms. I'll show you that. And then this one here, moving into Central America, Belize, for example, the rain chance is going to bump up. Parts of Honduras, Nicaragua will have some of the flooding, but not seeing these areas uh, developing. Now, here's the tie-in. Let me get out here. Once we get into August, it is typical to see strong tropical waves moving off the coast of Africa. What's going to happen is the dust is really going to be lessening. There's going to be a lot of moisture building in the atmosphere. I touched on that in yesterday's video. I did my August outlook for the hurricane season, if you haven't seen that. So we have a couple tropical waves out here right now, but not seeing any development. Remember that map I showed you a couple minutes ago with that orange shading? That's all that dry air and dust in place. So these these are not going to develop. But once we get into about the uh, first, really second week of August, that's when I expect the tropical waves to come off and then really not run into dry air. There won't be as much dust. And that's when I expect to see these uh, starting to develop. And with that said, high pressure is pretty dominant over toward uh, Bermuda large area of high pressure. So whatever tries to develop will track a little bit closer to the Caribbean as we go throughout the season. Uh, I mentioned that in yesterday's video. I went into detail on that if you want to check that out. But early August, I'm going to, and that's just a couple of weeks away, paying very close attention to the coast of Africa. Things are going to lessen with the dust from here on. Well, once we get past the next few days, it's going to a lesson, and then we're going to see a lot more moisture building in the atmosphere, and that means we'll get into that active period. Now, the tropical waves continue to pump uh, out. I think we've had about maybe 30-ish plus so far, 55 to 65 in a season. The hurricane season ends at the end of November. The tropical waves usually start to cut off uh, as we work our way into early October, though. So again, we're about halfway through with these tropical waves, and in a, a couple weeks, with the lack of dust, 
And with more moisture out there, the tropical waves that come off the coast of Africa will start to develop. And I don't mean that in an alarming way. We'll wait and see where the storms go. And we're going to get into the peak of hurricane season and we'll track it storm by storm. In the short term, this, look at the buildup. When you see these brighter colors, this is the satellite. So here's Honduras, for example. The brighter colors, the orchids, that means taller clouds and that means more moisture, more rain and storms in those. And that's why I was talking about the flooding, that tropical wave moving in here. And then we have one passing by uh, from uh, Puerto Rico down through St. Lucia and Grenada. That one doesn't have as much moisture, but still that chance of rain, Guyana, Suriname, uh, back toward Trinidad and Tobago with the uh, tropical wave here scattered about uh, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. So we'll get scattered areas of rain. We could see some additional flooding. This pocket here, though, is going to be, uh, e we're going to see even more rain out of this. Uh, parts of the Yucatan of Mexico, down through Belize, watching Guatemala, El Salvador, Costa Rica, and Panama. A very active period. If you're in Panama or Costa Rica, keep me posted in the comments. Then, as this tropical wave moves by, this is tomorrow. Rain chance will pick up some Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and still watching out for some heavier areas of rain across Central America. So we are going to see the issues with flooding. Could even see a few uh, mudslides here. Now, as we work our way into Sunday, Remember, I was mentioning as we get into the weekend, we're going to see a lot more dry air filtering in right here in dust. That's what I showed you at the beginning of this video. So you could see with that, not as much green, not as much rain. The rain chance in the Eastern Caribbean goes down on Sunday and even on Monday because of that surge of dust. There'll still be some spotty showers and storms around, but no big blob, no big area of rain. But you see over here, Central America, that rain continues to build and we'll be watching out for those totals really stacking up. I'll show you those rain totals in a moment. As far as the seas go, things are choppier. We've been highlighting this all week together. Atlantic waters uh, just offshore or nearby U.S., British Virgin Islands, Antigua, Barbuda, and Anguilla. So the seas are going to be elevated even as we get closer to the Bahamas by tomorrow on our Saturday. And then as we work our way into Sunday, they are going to build some. We have that tropical wave moving across. Yeah, there's not a lot of rain with it because we're going to have that surge of dust moving in, but things are going to get choppier as we work our way into the Central Caribbean, about two to even three meters, upwards of about 10 feet in some spots, uh, Central Caribbean on Saturday. Sunday. So I did want to show you that the seas building. Now, as far as the rain goes, uh, rain chance is higher today or on the higher side in Trinidad and Tobago. But as you know, it's, it's not all day stuff and not all of us are going to see it. It's not a 100% chance, but if you do get some rain, see some of the purples, pink showing up, we could get anywhere from 50 to 75 millimeters of rain or two to three inches of rain. Still in Guyana, seeing a few heavier totals the next three days, kind of spotty as you get towards St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, Martinique, Dominica could get a couple of thunder storms. We've had a few showers uh, from uh, yesterday and uh, overnight in some locations. St. Kitts and Nevis, we had a couple showers uh, overnight and we could get another uh, passing shower. I uh, see Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda, Puerto Rico with the daytime heating and with the tropical wave moving in tomorrow. I showed you how the rain chance gets goes up a little higher. Some thunderstorms around even British U.S. Virgin Islands and I showed you Dominican uh, Republic and Haiti. We could get some of those downpours that could lead to some flooding upwards of 100 millimeters or four inches inches of some rain. Jamaica, we're still looking at for some scattered showers and storms. We've had some areas of flooding the last uh, couple of days. Cayman Islands watching that too. Scattered storms, Bahamas, uh, Bahamas back toward Cuba. You see Cuba, this here, this would be some of those kind of afternoon storms with our daytime heating. This though, a big concern. We were talking about this. Uh, well, we've been talking about it together for days. Rain chance will be going up. Belize, for example, uh, over the next three days, we could get over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches, four or five inches of rain in some spots. Same thing as we swing all the way down through Costa Rica and uh, Western Panama, watching out for that flood threat. Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, even parts of Mexico around Mexico City, it is still going to be a uh, very wet. Northern end of everything, just like I was showing you yesterday, a few showers trying to work through parts of uh, Newfoundland. We have one system moving off, another front moving in, not as much with this as we work our way into Saturday. Get over toward uh, New Brunswick. We may catch a couple showers uh, coming out of uh, Quebec. And then as we get into uh, Sunday, Sunday, you see a few scattered showers that will be possible, but not super widespread Atlantic region of Canada. So Jamaica, rain chance is going to bump up a little bit through the weekend as expected. Scattered areas of rain and storm. Some of us just stay dry and hot. 
while others get some of those thunderstorms, and that could lead to some of the flooding. Cayman Islands, as we go throughout the weekend by Sunday, we're going to get up to about a 50% chance of some scattered showers. Trinidad and Tobago, again, not a 100% chance of rain. Not all day rain. Some of us will stay completely dry the next few days, but where we get the rain, we could get some of that additional uh, flooding. Barbados, 50% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow, and about a 50% chance the next couple of days as we work our way back through St. Lucia. 40% chance as we get into uh, Grenada, 30% chance on Sunday, 40 to 50% chance St. Vincent the Grenadines. And note Sunday, the rain chance starts to go down some. That's because of the dust moving in. You see Martinique, you see how the rain chance goes down on Sunday, starts to gradually go down as we get into uh, Dominica, as we get into the weekend. The dust, the dry air moving in, influencing the weather, lessening that chance of rain. Antigua and Barbuda, we only have a 20% chance this weekend, 30% chance this weekend, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, and a 30% chance the next couple days, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance goes down this weekend with that dust moving in. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Uh, still seeing a 40 to 50% chance though in Puerto Rico, of course. Any flooding could impact the uh, power grid. 50% chance of those scattered showers, U.S. and British Virgin Islands uh, today. Even a couple showers possible tomorrow. Bahamas rain chance a little higher on Sunday. Turks and Caicos tomorrow rain chance will be a bit higher, about a 30% chance on Sunday. And back through the Dominican Republic, we're going to get some clusters of thunderstorms that could lead to flooding about a 30 to 40 percent chance the next two days uh, as we get into a uh, Haiti Belize our rain chance going up some of us could get flooding keep me posted Belize all across Central America Yucatan and Mexico rain chance is going to be higher where it's not higher once again Aruba Curacao and Bonaire slight chance of a shower as we work our way into Sunday there's the rain chance in Guyana still a 70 percent chance today gradually dropping off some about a 50 to 60% chance this weekend in Suriname, Cuba. Some of the afternoon storms will be possible. And there's the higher rain chance again. Costa Rica, Panama, Panama, mainly western sections closer to Costa Rica with some of those higher totals. Watching out for the flood potential in Nicaragua. Watching out for the flood potential in Honduras. 60% chance of rain today. It stays elevated through the weekend. Please, please use some caution with those river crossings. Same thing, Guatemala and El Salvador. That tropical wave is moving into Central America, bumping up that rain chance. Mexico City, 60 to 70 percent chance, 60 percent chance the next couple days in the uh, Yucatan, 20 to 30 percent chance in Colombia. Venezuela, highest chance will be northeastern Venezuela with some of those scattered showers, 40 percent chance today in Bermuda. So active period again, watching that tropical wave uh, moving into Central America. With that, the Saharan dust at its highest point right now, at its, at its peak, and that does help prevent any of these tropical waves from developing, but the pattern changes in August. More moisture builds. The dust is going to le uh, lessen and we'll be watching out for long track systems. Those are the ones kind of coming off of Africa that we're tracking for days and days and potentially weeks and weeks. So I'll keep you posted as the pattern is gradually going to shift. Thank you for being part of this uh, weather community and putting the likes on the videos and have a good and safe day ahead.